Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock Curious, the desire to know and why your future depends on it. Have you noticed that a detective story or a movie often start with a scene in a strange setting? It's either a secret room or the victim's mysterious death, or a missing key message that attracts you to keep reading or watching. Take Citizen Kane as an example. At the beginning of this movie, we see the death of a newspaper millionaire who leaves his last words, Rosebud. We may wonder what is Rosebud? Why is it so important? These questions stay with us until the movie ends. Another example, have you noticed that a speaker likes to ask the audience questions before the speech? However, he doesn't answer the questions immediately until the end of the speech. Why would they do that? The reason is simple. In life, Things that are designed to cost us time and money use suspense to attract our attention and arouse our curiosity. Admittedly, curiosity is a beautiful but torturous thing. Some people believe that curiosity is our ultimate weapon to break through our destiny and the driving force behind all human behavior. If we are compared to a machine, to arouse our curiosity is to power us on. The power enables us to operate and to realize our potential and find meanings in life. On the other hand, we must also be aware that restraining curiosity is a homework we have to do throughout our lives. Have you realized that since the era of mobile phones and the internet, our attention has never been more divided under the stimulation of massive information? Some people have various interests and hobbies. They know a little of everything but none of their interests lead them to develop skills that reach a professional level. Therefore, excessive curiosity might not necessarily be a good thing, because it makes it difficult for us to focus on one thing. In the age of information explosion, curiosity exists as a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it leads us to explore and open the door to a new world. On the other hand, it challenges our ability to focus, making it difficult for us to have an in-depth understanding in a particular field. So what is curiosity? In our daily life, how should we develop curiosity, and how do we control the scale of our curiosity? This book is going to answer these questions for us. We will learn the principle of curiosity synthesized by Ian Leslie from a wealth of evidence, opinions, citations, surveys, and stories. Next, we will introduce this book in three parts. Part 1, The Origin and Development of Curiosity. Part 2, Why We Need to Be Curious. Part 3, Ways to Stay Curious. Let's first unlock Part 1, The Origin and Development of Curiosity. Chimpanzees are one of the smartest animals in the world besides humans. They have many similarities to humans. This is not surprising, because 98.8% of their genetic information is identical with ours, thus there's only a small difference. However, even the smartest chimpanzees will not be as curious as human beings. All their behaviors are based on the three primary driving forces, food, sex and finding shelter, like all other creatures. As far as we know, only humans look up at the stars and think about what they are. We could say thus that pure curiosity is the fourth driving force unique to humanity. Why? This is due to the desire for cultural information that humans develop throughout evolution. What does the author mean with cultural information? Picture this, a long time ago, our ancestors left the jungle and went to the river to find a new suitable living environment. In this unfamiliar environment, they needed to know more, such as what kind of fruit is edible? Or where are the ferocious beasts that should be avoided? Under the trials of new living environments, our ancestors gradually mastered culture, which is an ability to learn, copy, imitate, share, and improve. The transmission of culture is not limited by time and region. As a result, humans became the only creature that can obtain survival guidance from the knowledge accumulated by their ancestors, and not just from the survival instinct dictated by our DNA. With the creation of culture, humans have naturally developed the ability to absorb culture and the predisposition to desire for culture. This desire for culture